I think quite simply they should be feeling very ashamed of themselves. And I think, to be honest, I think a lot of them are. I think quite a few people have popped up and apologised, and rightly so. Um, you know, you do have to be terribly careful when you're dealing with um, young women and their health issues and things. This is not something you should be joking about or, or sort of, you know, banding about all sorts of absurd theories. It's really not at all attractive. So, yes, I mean, the simple answer is they should be rightly ashamed of themselves. The conspiracy theorists um, went in big time in the last few days. And um, I do, I do, in a way, think it says more about them than about the Princess of Wales, to be honest, because um, I suppose that the fact that we hadn't been given any news about her for several months made a vacuum into which these things can be poured. But it says an awful lot about the mindset of these people, um, as you say, the high profile ones, but also the very irresponsible sort of, as it were, members of the general public who just sort of weighed in as well. And it was extremely unattractive because um, we all love the Princess of Wales and she's done a fantastic job. I mean, she's really faultless in everything she's done ever since she married Prince William. I mean, I remember at the time of the wedding, somebody was saying to, actually to their private secretary, you know, what a what a what a, an amazing day and he just said well you know the the absolute transparent happiness of the couple just permeated right through the whole thing and there's always been that sort of aura about her and so you know we knew she was ill and there was absolutely no way that she should have been being attacked and having pressure put on her which must have been um must have made things much more difficult than they already were it's a little bit like whenever somebody like me writes an article, I mean, if you look at the comments, they're all absolutely vile. And we don't actually come across these things in everyday life. I mean, people don't come up to me and and say vile things at all, far from it. But but somehow there is, seems to be a sort of an undercurrent of people who are sitting at home just sort of spewing out sort of hatred and against all sorts of people all over the world. I mean, not only the Princess of Wales, who doesn't deserve it in any any way at all. And... That's what I'm trying to get to grips with. What is it really all about? I mean, it, are, the, are these people so angry and envious and jealous and, and full of hatred? I, I don't know. I don't know where they all are, to be honest. You will always have conspiracy theories because if you're a conspiracy theorist, that's what you do. So, for example, even now, years later, President Kennedy, Elvis Presley, Marilyn Monroe, Diana, Princess of Wales, there are always going to be people coming up with theories and they always will. So that you can't stop. But I think you're absolutely right. At this present moment, um, I think that anyone who pops up with some ludicrous theory about the princess would get very short shrift. And so I imagine that they will go to ground, to be quite honest, because in a sense, they are bullies, these people. They're they're pushing it the whole time. And as somebody rightly said years ago, inside every bully, there's a coward desperately trying to stay in. And I reckon they'll be staying in now. I do know that, of course, everything these days with AI and fake news and, if I dare say, President Trump and all these people, you know, there's a lot of nonsense going on in the world. But I think that the general feeling that I'm picking up at any rate is huge sympathy for the princess, a great wish that she should get well, certainly respect that she should have time to be with her lovely family. And, you know, they, they must all be going through an incredibly difficult time because, you know, the king is ill. Um, the problem of being Prince of Wales is you're a heartbeat away from the throne. And if, if your father's ill, you naturally are going to think more in terms of that. I mean, inevitably, I, I don't like to say it, but you're bound to think that. So that is an added stress on top of um, the whole complicated business of getting well. And um, let's just hope that with the spring coming and the summer coming and, you know, she she will have time to get better. And I'm sure she has very good medical help. And let's hope that they've caught everything in good time and that we'll soon hear much better news on her account.